Wells chooses 11 standard examples used in the teaching of evolution, what he calls the icons of evolution. We don't have time to go through all his examples, but if even one of them is wrong, then we have to wonder about his whole book. I choose the one that hurts my ears. I was trained as an embryologist, so his citing the case of Heckel's embryos in teaching caused me to say, what? Let's listen to the accusations from the author himself. When I studied biology as an undergraduate, my textbook had a, a series of pictures, now famous pictures, showing a line of vertebrate embryos, embryos of animals with backbones, and uh, they all look very similar. And the idea behind the picture is that these similar embryos, as they develop, become frogs, fish, salamanders, humans, and so on. And those early similarities then are taken to be evidence for our common ancestry with the fish. The problem is, as a Berkeley graduate student, I studied embryos and I discovered that embryos don't look anything like that at all, in many cases. It turns out that the drawings were faked, and uh, this was actually known since the 1860s. Well, lo and behold, the, um, they don't look nearly as similar to one another as Heckel claimed or represented them in the illustrations. Many of his drawings were not accurate. So we, basically, we published a report that showed that, in fact, Heckel's drawings are inaccurate. So Wells is right. Heckel did commit scientific fraud. Look at how similar his drawings are for early stage embryos of everything from fish to birds to humans compared to actual photos made a decade ago by Richardson, Hankin, and others. But there's a second part to his book, which is the accusation that Heckel's drawings continue to be used in textbooks. What Heckel did with his drawings is that he ignored this, this huge difference at mm -hmm. the top. And, right, right. and then he, he, he misdraws them so that they but really a, do look. He's 120 years ago. It's yeah, so but, far but, in the past. It's not, but, there's no relevance but, to what's taught today in embryology courses. Well, in the biology textbooks, that's, where the, that's what you find. No, you, you don't find it. There's no trace of, other than a mention that Heckel once upon a time came up with this fixed idea of, of ontogeny recapitulating Well, that's biology. what Wells' work was, was to review right. biology textbooks. Right, right. And he found repeated use of, of, of these Images. I notice you've got an intro biotext there. I'm sure we could pull it out and look at what they've got for, for Heckel's Law. I don't think, I, I mean, Jonathan is, I know Jonathan, and mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I've, you know, I've looked at the textbooks myself. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I can't say that I've done an analysis for Heckel's embryos. I mean, if let's, you want to. Let's take know. a look at that textbook okay. right there. So when we look up if they've got Heckel in here. And this will be interesting. Is that work. a college book or is that a high yes, school? Yes, this is a well college and high school, I think. Uh, and it's a question of how they even spell Heckel. Um, you see the blue one? Yes, sir. Oh, the blue one. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, they they don't even mention Heckel in here. Look under embryo. Um, not not even mentioned in this text so far in the past. Yeah. Biogenesis, but that wouldn't even have it. Do you think that embryology classes are making any mistakes in misusing Heckel's embryos in their teaching? Oh, certainly not. I think most embryologists that I know, and I know hundreds of them, I go to conferences in embryology, they always present things in a hard historical context. Even be before this recent controversy, you know, they were, they, you'd see Heckel's embryos as an example of kind of a historical, it would be in the introductory section of the book, or when they're talking about the history of evolutionary biology, nobody was teaching from these things anymore. Oh, no, wait a second, here we go, in this book. Ah, there's so an older book. Here we have a book that yeah. does mention it. And let's see, this is from what year? Now, this is from 1914. 